is NDTV. And you are watching NDTV Prime. From pretty humble beginnings after the Second World War to a company that's known primarily for their sports cars and of course SUVs and sports sedans. Porsche has actually grown considerably in the last few years, especially in India. And we're now sitting with Desh Papke, who's the CEO of the Middle East and Asia business. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And congratulations first and foremost on the new car launch yesterday, the 718 Cayman and the 718 Boxster. Now, uh, the Cayman and Boxster have been pretty popular in India. Of course, your mainstay has always been the SUVs, but um, how's the response been so far across the range? Absolutely fantastic. The, the, the Indian market is an extremely discerning market. Our customers are of exactly the same profile as we have elsewhere in the world. They know what they want, they're successful, they're demanding, and our cars perfectly match that requirement. And with the new cars that we launched yesterday, we've now brought in an entry into the, into the brand. And with the Cayman as the entry model, it is perfectly suited for the discerning customer in India. And then they can go into the Boxster, which is just slightly more expensive than its sibling, and we're really, really excited. And what happened yesterday at the event, first with the press, and then with the customers, they were absolutely delighted with our card. And I'm just thrilled that it was such a wonderfully successful day. Right. Of course, this is the first time uh, in a long, long time that you've had a four-cylinder uh, model in one of your mainstay sports cars. Um, there has been a bit of chatter all around the world about Porsche moving into smaller engines from the six-cylinder to the four-cylinder segment. And of course, with the 911, you moved from naturally aspirated in your base models, Carrera and Carrera S, to turbocharged cars. And of course, the new GT3 that comes out in Geneva very soon is also turbocharged. Um, there has been a little bit of a backlash in terms of purists, but of course, we all know that the future is turbocharged. Is there also a chance of it moving even further and having electrification? Because electrification is a big part of the uh, Porsche philosophy moving forward. So let me start with the four-cylinder motor. With our LMP race series that we re-entered into Le Mans three years ago, we've proved that a two-liter four-cylinder motor can do exactly that. And now with the, with the right sizing, not downsizing, but the right sizing on the engines, it's perfectly suited for that. A small, compact four-cylinder, which is extremely efficient, unbelievably powerful, 35 more horsepower than the six-cylinder, 100 more newton meters of torque than the, than the predecessor. The car's perfectly geared for that. So that is, that is going in the right direction. We're right sizing, we're going in the right direction, bringing more efficient, more powerful engines. And then with regard to electrification, we were the first manufacturer in our segment to have a plug-in hybrid in the Panamera. The same with Cayenne. Obviously, one has to look at, do we fully electrify? Do we have a combination? One is always looking at that. You have already know that we've got um, the emission cars, which will come in, a, in the next couple of years, fully electric, but we will also have plug-in hybrids in all the ranges. It just makes sense. That combination of electric and internal combustion just gives you the balance of an environment where the infrastructure might not necessarily be there already, and the customers get the benefit of both. So yes, it is the direction that everybody will go. But where do you see India heading in terms of uh, a future sports car segment? Do you see more and more customers getting into your specialty models, like uh, maybe the next generation Cayman GT4? Uh, the GT3 or even something as, as specific and as, um, as intense as the 911R. Do you see an Indian market there or is it a very, very small segment uh, that you see? I'm going to steal something of one of your colleagues yesterday. He called it slow burn. And I think that's the nicest way of putting it. This park market has got unbelievable potential medium to long term. It's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen tomorrow or the next day. But this slow burn is going to become a long, consistent burn. And when that comes, infrastructure is going to be developed. The discerning customers are here. You have an extremely educated, youthful population. Those are the customers of the future. And we will be here when the customers are ready. And as the market then grows, we will be poised for that. And we have partners like this. Look at this facility. This is absolute world class. You will not get better than this anywhere in the world. And the, it's here right today. So the customers can come here and already experience it. And so we will slowly grow in a measured, consistent way. Right. Uh, of course, the next big launch uh, for you in India this year is the new Panamera. Absolutely. Now, the Panamera has been a very successful car for you. Uh, I believe it's the second highest selling model after the Cayenne, of course. The new one, uh, we've seen it already in Germany and uh, 
a few places around the world. It's, it's quite uh, a departure from the old styling. Uh, the interior is absolutely fantastic. Do you already have people lining up for the Panamera in oh, India? Absolutely. You know, that car is completely new. And when I say completely new, the only thing we've kept is the name, the segment is in, and the badge on the bonnet. The rest, the car is completely new. And you know, the, the current car is exceptionally good. The new one is just that step higher. Our engineers have a capacity to always find that, that extra bit there. And the demand for the car is already exciting. The customers are anticipating what is coming, and we will not disappoint them. The car is absolutely brilliant. Right. So um, the diesel, of course, will be the first one that comes in with the top-of-the-line V8 turbo. Uh, will there also be a hybrid in that immediately, as we've seen you get in the, uh, in the Cayenne in the past? Or uh, is that something which is not very important for Porsche right now? For two, the Indian we two weeks ago, we had the international press launch in South Africa. The car's here. So when it comes to market, it's obviously dependent on, on the environment. But the car internationally is here, so plug-in is in. All right. And um, do you also see the Indian market, of course, gravitating towards a smaller SUV, the Macan? Because, of course, we've seen a lot of Cayennes on the road. They're very, very popular. The Macan, on the other hand, does seem to be a slightly slower moving model for you. Yeah, things, you know, it's, the, the Cayenne has been this wonderfully successful bulletproof SUV. When Porsche launched the, the, the Cayenne initially, everybody thought, what's Porsche doing? This is crazy. We've proved just how successful a SUV sports car can be. And with Macan, it is unbelievably successful. And it's just a matter of time. You know, markets, because it's the, the customer who drives a Cayenne is not the same person who drives a Macan. They are two different people. So Cayenne will continue to stay strong, and Macan will just grow and grow and grow. So we have wonderfully excited about the success of the car so far. And with the four-cylinder motor now, we get wonderful opportunities to enter markets. So patience is, is required. The car is going to be wonderfully successful. Right. Uh, now, of course, you've sold just over uh, 400 units in the last year. Um, future expectations for, for India. Do you see, uh, of course, that's what you've mentioned. It's going to be a medium and long-term market, which is what a lot of sports car manufacturers are saying, considering the fact that uh, we're just sort of recovering from a little slump in the economy. Uh, but do you see a big growth maybe by 2020 or 2022? I think we must, we must take a step back. So, yes, we did 401 cars last year. The segment shrunk by 6%, the, the sports car segment. But we stayed the same. So that's already testament of what our dealers are doing for us in the, in the market. We don't have an obsession about volume. For us, it's about professionalization. And if we do things right, like you can see here, the volume will come out of its own. And we will just grow in a measured, careful, sustainable way. So where are we going to be in 2020? I think it's the crystal ball. But we will be sure that we have got professional dealers doing the things that our, our customers demand. And then the volume will come. Right. Uh, now, a question that I've been meaning to ask you was uh, the fact that India was always a part of the South Asian uh, sort of conglomerate for Porsche. Uh, it has been moved recently to the Middle East and Africa markets. Uh, could you just shed some light on that move? It just makes sense. If you're three hours away from our, from our regional office, Dubai is a natural hub for, for Asia to, to Europe. So the fact that we're in Dubai makes sense. And the fact that we now look after, after the Indian market makes sense. Because if you were to do that from Singapore, you have time zones, you have a whole host of things. So it's, and I'm delighted that it's part of my region because I just love the fact that India is part of our region. And it, it just makes logical sense. We're a very logical engineering company. We make decisions which are practical and make sense. So it's sensible. Right. Um, there's also been a little bit of chatter about a smaller sedan coming from, uh, from Porsche in the future something that sits below the Panamera the same way the Macan sits below the, the Cayenne. Uh, I know you might not be able to share a lot of details on that, but uh, would you like to share some light? Chatter is the coolest thing. The fact that people talk about our brand consistently, they create spy pictures of cars that don't exist yet. That is the most wonderful thing of a brand with equity. So we are here celebrating the launch of two of the most wonderful cars now. And the nice thing about Porsche, just watch this space. Our drawers are full of exciting products, and what will come will come. So we're not going to talk about a four-door sedan in a smaller segment today. Right. Um, of course, um, the Mission E cars are uh, targeted mainly towards Tesla because that's your natural biggest competitor in that segment. Tesla is due to launch sometime this year in India. So do we also see Porsche preponing something with full electric, uh, maybe for a market like India, which is not a full electric market or even a hybrid market to begin with? But uh, do you see that sort of move happening for Porsche, considering the fact that somebody like Tesla is uh, going to come in with the Model 3 and the Model S, and Com maybe even the Model X? 
competition is the most important thing. The more competition we have, the better we all come. It just raises the bar for everybody. So we have a very clear strategy. We've announced what's going to happen with Mission E. We know when we're going to bring it. We'll be very focused. The most important thing is infrastructure. You need to make sure that the infrastructure is in place, that the discerning customer who's going to buy that car can enjoy the benefits of the car. So we know when we're going to launch the car. We know how we're going to launch it. We have unbelievable products that are already running. And I'll just give you a nice anecdotal story. We have a house management system that you'll plug into your house on this side of the meter and which manages your house. You'll know when the usage is, the cars will be charged when the, when the house is using the, the, the least amount of, so during cooking times, the cars won't be charging. But when you're all asleep and stop watching television, the charge cycles go up. All these things are, are in plan, on focus, and we're doing these things. So we know exactly we're gonna bring the car, and extremely excited about it.